Hey guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Loki. Where last time on Loki, billions, possibly trillions of lives were lost. Well, if they were entire universes, mm -hmm. timelines. Yep. But did they ever exist to begin with? They did. Non-aliens. I think so. <laughs> I don't know how time works. It's weird. Yeah, no, they did. Um, we also had a poll last time. The poll was, did X5 have help? In his rise to fame, uh, with his uh, with his movie, right? We had sixty percent of people said he did it all on his own. Forty percent said he had it with help. <clears throat> Let's see what some of the responses were. Uh, I think he replaced his original self, who was an actor similar to Miguel in Across the Spider Verse. So he replaced himself. Hmm. Uh, could be interesting. So maybe because we don't have that uh, movie, we're in the timeline that he didn't replace himself. So we get pruned. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, he seemed like a jerk and still had some of the TVA gadgets, plus a lot of knowledge about the future. He definitely used all of that to his advantage. Yeah, but that's that's not help. That's him. If, Ooh. if James Bond has gadgets and solves a mission, did he beat the mission on his own? Q did. Did. He, did he have help? Q solved it. <laughs> I think he killed a variant and took his place. A variant? That's an interesting one. But he didn't go to his original timeline. He went to a different one. But he... He was on the sacred timeline. He was definitely on the sacred timeline. 100%. Because he has maybe, to go back. Maybe... And they said he's on the sacred timeline. Yeah, they said he said 100%. I'm but, on the sacred uh, timeline. I don't want to go back. It's to obviously timeline. Mephisto. A pact with the devil to be f famous or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Oh. What do you have to say about that? Huh? Is that another variant? Yeah, he's Mephisto confirmed. Uh, deal with the devil, Mephisto confirmed. There's another one. <laughs> Seriously, though, I think he rose up all on his own. He has the charisma. Uh, he also had to be there long enough for his hair to grow that much. I like that. He had to be there like for a little while, there. yeah. Sure. Don't know how long he's been working on it, but I am of the opinion that he did it on his own. Me too. Anyone who says otherwise has an opinion. That is this response is just, <laughs> I have to pee. I have to, no, I'm sorry. I have to pee? It's a question. They don't even know. Me too. But, oh, we'll wait. If uh, only we could pass the time and immediately start watching. That's not even the bathroom! Calvin! $1,800. Uh, I'm going to say early. Early what? No, late Early in the morning? Mm, you say like 18... <laughs> we were... Uh, Ah! Oh, okay. What is that? Oh, 1868. Oh. Renslayer went to Chicago. Okay. See, where is she? That's what she said. <gasps> Minutes. Minutes! What took you so long? That's what? What are you doing here? Is Minutes just like a real thing? It's a nowhere. Sentient AI. The important person you were going to meet? The one at the end of time. He told me that we need to put this package in that window. It's a TVA guidebook, isn't it? He's dead. What? This was the plan he made when he knew the end was near for him. He knew. Get back, someone will see you. You don't exactly blend in. Okay. Better. <laughs> you and I. We'll be right by his so this side. This is a contingency? Yep. This is the first order. I don't understand minutes. Like, like the AI's for like. Do you understand Jarvis? Tony is like in his suit. It's yeah. at his place. Like, I don't just see that wandering in the 1800s, you know yeah. what I mean? But like, yeah. minutes is just here. It's like walking around. It's like magic talking. for you. What is making her here? Uh, that, is that young, he who. Is that well, the end of time? It could be one of his variants, surely, yes. A variant? No. Is it a do you think it's a guidebook? Yeah. It looked like a book, huh? Yeah. They've been making a, a point to like show the size every episode. We need to scale the room's capacity to manage all those new branches. We need to dilate. Otherwise it will fail. It can't funnel at all. Yeah. So it needs to be big. It's got a clog. There has to be another way. We can hack into the system. Really? Oh, that is such a relief. Mm, I'm wondering. What? I think you meant it as an idea. 
<laughs> you think like you had an idea? Can we? No. We're all gonna die still. No one's gonna die. We're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I love him running around like, we're all gonna die. He's just saying it to himself before he knows they're there. I want minutes to ride that horse. <laughs> okay, we gotta hit on the two. Oh, this is cool. Their outfits look great. Yeah, they do. Let's go to Ace 93. Ramona, what are you up to? No, it's right there. So the two times they had were... Is Loki th theoretically alive at this point? In Asgore? This can't be the same place. Yes. yes. Yeah. Like yes. Thor's 2000. How could I have gotten to Chicago World's Fair? 1893. The yeah. White City. This is Branch Timeline. Maybe it did say Branch Timeline. I swore it said Sacred Timeline, but they said they went to the same place. I mean, if they're here, we'll find them. Well, they gave that here. the kid 25 years Only one years way to book. find out. Doesn't make sense for you. How do you suppose right? you do that? At the World's well, Fair, he's probably doing something amazing. amazing. Oh, you know what? Good old-fashioned legwork. It would be Branch because he got the book, probably. Yeah. Right? It's, yeah, it would have to be. <laughs> it, at, at the point where he picks it up, it would have branched. The sacred clock. Ghost, ghost clock, clock continues clock. to haunt Midway. What do you call that? Breadcrumb. Exactly. Yeah. Aha! What the? <laughs> Star Wars! <laughs> this has to be a joke. Odin and Thor! To make you a little older. Yeah. Such poverty of imagination. Is somebody feeling a little left out that they're not up there? No. They might they include Boulder. <laughs> yeah, Balder the Brave. You know, sometimes I forget that you're one of them. You are one of them. Pops my mind. Hmm. Thor's not that tall. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's look. Temporal. That can't be a coincidence. Victor Timely. That's who we'll find Renslayer. Uh, temporal what? Is Victor Timely the kid she gave the I would say guy so, to yeah. to? And now we're gonna see what he do, he does with it. Yep. And he's twenty five years older, yeah. Right? Yeah, he'd be like thirty now. That is exactly what we're looking for. Is that balloon? I think so. It shapes our lives. <laughs> our Futures? His timing is terrible. It's timely. It! It's him. Who? He remains. So, call it a dream. Fine. Sneer. Laugh it off as pure science fiction but if it can be dreamed i love the blue light coming in and messing with the sepia tone yeah all science is fiction until <laughs> oh. i've got to have that machine i've got to have that machine yeah you got your mind you can't trust a variant of he who remains in the TVA. That's a later problem. We have a very serious now. He's the aura, I guess, right? Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, step aside. As I was saying, Sir? where can we talk? That's quite a device you've got there, Timely. But I still have some doubts. Can't do that with your mustache. Oh, it's it's still a. I think Melanie would divorce me. <laughs> I don't think she'd like it. I don't think I'd like it. I think I'd divorce me. Pardon me, Mr. Timely, a word perhaps? Sir, so, forgive my bluntness, sir, but I, I must have your temporal loom. Oh, it, it, it appears my presentation has piqued much interest. One thousand dollars. <gasps> That's my final offer. I suggest you take it. Hmm. I believe we have a, a deal. <laughs> He just brought it with him? Yep. Pleasure doing business with you. I think the trick, he smiled weird, really, didn't he? Wow. Well, hey! Yeah, it's wow. broken now. <laughs> stepped on my <laughs> foot. Calm down, Big Abe. I do. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so it's not real? Yeah. Like that guy came? Okay. I think it's a scam. Mm. <laughs> Excellent suggestion. I agree. Oh, come on. The amazing Loki, everyone! He'll be here all week! <laughs> Where'd he go? She, Did he send him outside? She stole his hat! Mr. Timely, I need to talk with you about something. Um, yes, my future! Do you mind if you walk and Oh, they're fucking with it. Excuse me. In the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I want we my money back, Timely. These trousers don't work. Councilman, what are you talking about? You look, look taller to me. <laughs> He's like crouching down. He's like, yeah, you're tall. <laughs> trousers that make you tall. Enlightened fellows never do. Of course. Your inventions are fake. In Timely. Yeah, we heard a bullet. <laughs> Oh, hey, oh, Stop that man! He's a thief! Ooh. I'm gonna get you timely! <laughs> no one swindles me! Oh my gosh, no. they're gonna get on it. There he is! There he is. Hugo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 I need to skip the line. Go! Go. <laughs> that guy is awesome. This guy's ride or die. Yeah. A heads up, Casey has had a really weird uh, tempad reading. Oh, weird, like dangerous? Where? About ten feet from where you're standing. Fit. All right. You're clearly really good mm. at getting away. We have that in go. <gasps> Loki. Yeah, you haven't got a clue, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Those lives, your home, are in danger. And right now, he may be our best hope. It's happening, but I'll get him. I can't let him live. Where is he? Where is he? You got nowhere to run! This minute? Yeah. This is your moment. Get him! Oh my god! <laughs> she is so big! Ghost clock! <laughs> what would you do? That's, have you had no idea? 1800s, you know? Sure. I'm just looking to restore stability to the TVA. Our loom, a device not unlike your prototype you had on stage, it's in trouble. And it needs you. That is not dissimilar to what the wizard gentleman said to me. In <laughs> the wizard gentleman? Well, why aren't the two of you in, in cahoots with him and his butler? <laughs> <laughs> but he was protecting me. Mm, he switches sides. It's a well-documented behavioral trait. Yeah. He has done that a lot, right? Time to go. Yep. Don't you want to see who it is? I'm we could just anyone who knocks on his door isn't <laughs> the tandem bikes <laughs> where are they he's mine rat bags go ahead i beg your pardon take him he's all yours <laughs> take him he's all yours <laughs> <laughs> this book has it Define the course of my life. I like to think of it as a correspondence between myself and the visionary author, Ouroboros. Yay. This is the most important discovery I I I've made yet. It's a throughput multiplier. Hey, that's exactly what we need, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You know, Victor. Vic is a bit into Twinslayer. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to see the man you'll become. I think Miss Minutes is jealous. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at her back there. Appreciate that. I have high hopes for this partnership. You don't do partners.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Holy crap, what a shot. <laughs> that was crazy. Who got rid of her? I'd say Miss Minutes. You heard her, Victor. Partnership. You had to do it. <laughs> yeah. Bye. You know, for a moment, I was worried that you wouldn't come with me. That you lacked Ravona better than me. A loyal f friend. More than friends. The war, the TVA, the eons after. I alone was by your side. Why didn't you allow me a real body? You just kept me as your thing, your computer, your toy, instead of what I could have been, your girl. That's hella creepy. What are you doing? Put that down. Don't do this. We're a team. You need me. I love you. Hmm. Creepy. That's real creepy. Maybe leave her here. <laughs> Lover's tiff. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God you're here. Okay, thanks for getting quite straight. Oh, that's a pruning shotgun. Damn. Yeah, that's a big old pruning. Miss Winslayer. No, no. Step away from him. We need him. Move any closer, and he's done. When will you learn? But none of your words mean a thing. All that matters is order versus chaos. I'm order. No. There's Sylvie. There's the Here's chaos. disorder. Yeah. I can make my own choices. I'm not the man you think I am. Get him out of here. Don't make me regret this. Leave her to me. Uh, Maybe they'll team up. It's power for you, isn't it? That's what you want. A seat at the end of time. Well, be careful what you wish for. Oh. Man, that might not be a good idea. He's already dead, right? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how time passes at the end of time, but yes. Some time has passed. Some time, yeah. Well. It was foolish of him to make an enemy out of someone who knows all his secrets. I know a really big one about you. I can tell you, but... But what? It's gonna make you real angry. Hmm. I want no secret. Why, Calvin? Why you do this? I don't know. So what is the plan of the Remain guy? Is it to create him to begin with? I imagine that he's just starting the cycle that he ended on. I, mean, I don't. I don't really know exactly. Uh, I mean, he's the rest of the Kings are coming. That's what he said when he died, right? Like they're coming. Um, this is a different uh, variant. We've seen one of the right. gang, right? Yeah, an AM man. Uh, and in there, we saw a bunch of Kangs. Yeah, uh, we yeah. saw the Council of Kang. They haven't used the word Kang in this, have they? They call him He Who Remains. They call him He yeah. Who Remains. And Victor Timely. Victor Timely, yeah. So he was, uh, can we go back and see if it said Sacred Timeline at the beginning? You said that you, it, it was. That's what I wrote down. Yeah. Just double check. I, I mean, you're, you're, you're probably right in that it is, and now it isn't. It's a branch probably because of giving the book, I yeah. imagine. Uh, it's after this. Is it after it's like right here, right? There you go. It is. Take your timeline. It is. It's your timeline. 
I think I told you. So it switches. You trust me. No, I trusted you. I right? knew it. But you doubted yourself, and then I doubted you. Well, you know, whenever it's like, <laughs> whenever it's still like branch timeline, wow, yeah. it's a branch timeline. Did I miss that? And then I was like, oh, because mm -hmm. this person who lived in this time was given a book that he shouldn't have had, mm -hmm. it should create a variant, a branch in the timeline, which I mean, that means that the sacred timeline continues with him not getting it, right? And this branch timeline goes with him having gotten it. Does that works? I would say so. Right? This was a contingency from He Who Remains. I mean, it's possible it's a variant that he took and put on the sacred timeline. It doesn't, and that doesn't know that he's not from this timeline. What? I was going to say it's possible that He Who Remains, in order to enact this contingency, took another Kang variant and put him in the sacred timeline. Not that this is the original? Yeah. And then there's another original, but I don't know. There's another original? Wouldn't yeah. that I mean, I'm, I'm aware of a Kang variant from, like, the Marvel comics and stuff that's not this character that's in, like, the Marvel universe or whatever. Wouldn't that make another branch, though? Well, it's it's from this timeline. Or I, I know the timelines are different when it comes to this stuff, but at least I'm aware of a different character that's not this character that's supposed to be Kang from our timeline, is what I'm saying. But that can... 100% change, too. Like, there's nothing saying that they're going to do that. What? So, in the, in the comic books, there's a Kang variant that is from the universe, this one universe that all the other characters are from, and it's not this character, is all I'm saying. But so, it would be like an Iron Man showing up, but it's not Tony Stark, <laughs> you know? I'd be like, huh, interesting. So, I'm just leaving that as a possibility. That the comic book character will show up? Is that what you mean? Yeah. The comic book character is in the MCU? No. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm confused, like, why the comic uh, book character... So you're just relating it to, like... Yeah. I know of a, like I know of another comic book Spider-Man that they, maybe they could use it in the MCU. Like, yeah. Like, that kind of thing? But I specifically... And we don't have to go... In, we're probably just wasting time at this point. <laughs> okay. I was just trying to figure out what you meant in, in yeah. the timeline thing also. No, I just meant that, like, in the comic books, in the timeline that all the characters are in, there is there is a Kang variant, but it's not this character. So this is... A new character for me that's not the character that I know as our Kang from our timeline. From the original comic book that this is being adapted from. That's fake. Sure. This is the real. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to give this up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I uh, very much enjoyed uh, Loki checking out the Norse exhibit. That was funny. Sure. Uh, like especially that. him being like, why do they care about Balder? <laughs> Balder the brain. Yeah. <clears throat> I care hmm. about Boulder. Do you? Yeah, but it is one of the like Scott of War game lesser maybe. known yeah. of the of the ones. I just know he has a gate. Yeah. He does have a gate. Yeah, at least three of them. And right? it's a one. It's very well known. That yeah, gate, Kevin, a lot so. of people know that gate, and they're like, yeah. ah, Boulder. It's not that one. Yeah, there's three of them. Yeah. Nope. Everyone talk about it. it's mm -hmm. not that Boulder. Um, minutes is like they keep saying more and giving more stuff to minutes, but I, it's such a weird thing to me. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, there's all this time travel stuff, and yeah. meanwhile, I'm like, but she's an AI. Yeah. How does she operate in the 1800s? Mm -hmm. You know, like, what's, how does she, is the thing, is she I coming the, from that thing? I is think she trapped in it? She, she, she can go into all of it because she's connected to the TVA, which can go through all of it. Okay. So, like, the same way that the doors are able to appear, she's able to manifest, is what I would say. Okay. But, isn't that also because they have like a Tim pad? Yeah. Well, right? yeah, she's on that little hand thingy. That's why he turned it off and she like disappeared. So it's like she's on a cell phone signal, but she can just show up without having a cell phone. Sure, right? I suppose. So I was just like, like you're talking about like, you don't, are you yeah, confused like, with Jarvis? Yeah. And I'm like, well, no, because he's all either inside of like a suit yeah. or something, yeah. or, or he's at house. like the lab or the house. Sure. But he doesn't yeah. show up at like just the White House randomly, yeah. you know? I Except for when he you, became Vision, in yeah. which case he had a body. <laughs> That he then took over. Well, well do you remember right? like the, the hologram of like you know here's Ultron, here, you know here's Jarvis, here's Ultron. That you saw, saw like both of their like AI minds together or whatever. Yeah, in the Maybe lab. Maybe it's kind of you can relate Miss Minutes to that. Yeah, but that's that in was. the lab. Well, it's in the lab. It's being <laughs> that's all why. projectors are making it happen. But what's happening here is something about the TVA. Yeah, and that's the way why I'm like able to do makes it happen. Whenever it's, there was something I said last week or the week before where I was talking about. Uh, minutes and stuff and then here I'm like she just showed yeah. up in the 1800s and I'm like how and then she's a ghost clock and I'm like how does it operate but I mean yeah I guess it has to be TVA tech allows her mm -hmm. to just exist through 
wherever she wants, I guess. Yeah. Sure. I don't know. That's why I was like, I was sentient artificial intelligence entity. But like, I understand like why she looks like what she looks like. Mm -hmm. Like, I would believe that in the TVA. Sure. And I would believe that if it came from like, well, it comes from whenever they open this Tim pad, Mm -hmm. she shows up from it. Yeah. It's just whenever she just goes and does what she wants, or she's like hiding in the bag, Mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem like she's connected to this thing. I'm like, how does this AI work? It's, I think it was very appropriate to put it in the the World's Fair, the Chicago World's Fair, because sometimes you just see magic and. You just gotta believe it. Sure. <laughs> Loki, the great Loki. <laughs> He's in that cage. Yeah. Ah! No, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't think I have a very good grasp on what exactly is happening, but it, it's it goes back to the Thor scene with uh, with Jane about you know any certain amount of advancement in technology will be like magic to us. So we see Miss Minutes here, and I'm like, how's this cartoon character here in this scene doing this? Well, AI and time stream stuff. It's like okay, it's magic. <laughs> yeah, I have to just put she that also has there. like somewhat of a physical form because she can interact with things. Did she? Yeah. What she interact when with? When she was giant, she pulled down one of the banner thingies when she was chasing all the people. Did she? Yeah. Okay. I think that'd be one of the few times I've ever seen her interact with anything because even when she walks and stuff, it's just like a she's just faking. It, sure. <laughs> you know. Well, she's walking on something that's yeah. also like yeah. There's like a little orange surface sure. under her that she's walking on mm-hmm. and then she can just like jump off of it and yeah. land on things but cause like whenever they're like oh it gave me autonomy to write my own programming and stuff and I was like okay well that's interesting mm-hmm. but then I was like I still don't get how you got here but I don't know they, uh, Ouroboros just said she has was her right access to the whole universe and the TVA um yeah I think I read that. Was Minutes that? has access to the whole universe mm-hmm. yeah cause she can she can see the entire like time stream and everything. That's that's why she's so useful to Renslayer, because Miss Minutes can just find anybody anywhere, anytime. Mm-hmm. So is access to the whole universe that I can see anywhere in the universe, or is access to the whole universe means I can go anywhere in the whole universe? Well, I think because Miss Minutes can find anybody in the whole universe, and Renslayer has a temp pad, she can go anywhere. Does she have to travel through the temp pad? I mean, she I might so, not yeah. even be local either like she the processing might be still being done in the TVA and she's just presenting herself as a local I don't know they acted like at the TVA they had no way to find her yeah stop her control her sure. nothing well you they had I mean? no way of well, access because she has right? administration administ- admin access <laughs> administrative <laughs> sure but if rights. she was like being if her origin comes from like a signal right mm-hmm. if you talk about like cell phone signals sure. that send out you go shut down the main cell phone thing that's yeah. gone Right, mm-hmm. or you reboot it, and maybe they have to start back up where she starts, or yeah. something like that. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I just I'm just very curious on the way she operates, and they gave a lot of more lingo about her. Mm-hmm. But I was like, but didn't well, really explain. Well, what how does it that works. all mean? It's yeah. still it's just, fake. It's just kind of like yeah, yeah. As long as the characters can feel like, all right, I, I kind of get it, and I'll, I'll buy it. <laughs> you know, sure. No, I get you. Speaking of buying things and characters, he was. Very convincing when he was begging for his life. Who? Specifically? Victor. Victor? Yeah. Like my heart. Yeah. yeah. You know I mean, heart. I know that there's stuff going on with Jonathan Majors and stuff, but I mean, I've I've loved his acting ever since I've seen all in Lovecraft Country. Yeah. He was so good in Lovecraft Country. So. Sure. I wasn't but, sure. Yeah, I really like here, too. Like, he has, like, that, uh, that, like, overcoming a stutter cadence, you know? Were you guys curious on what they were doing? Because like I was like assuming that was him on stage mm-hmm. with the shadow. Yeah. But then I was like, are we gonna see him? Mm-hmm. Are they gonna like just do a shadow and we don't see the act? Because yeah. like, like you said, like I knew about mm-hmm. their stuff with the actor yeah. and stuff. And all I, was, like, all I know is I, that they, uh, I wasn't sure if they were gonna like do a different actor. Yeah. If they sure. were just gonna have him kind of show up on stage and be shadowed mm-hmm. and you never actually see him. All I know is that Loki was one of the, like it's one of the first Marvel Plus or Disney Plus series to have no additional photography, so they didn't change any of their plans because of any of the stuff that happened so everything that is happening is intentional or is what they wanted to do in the first place and nothing in regards to changing stuff with because of jonathan majors okay huh. so that or strikes or any of that stuff nothing changed i don't anything. believe so yeah i wonder what his thing is about partners um because like he said yeah. the one guy's like i don't do partners mm-hmm. and he said like whenever she was like, "Oh, this would be a great partnership," yeah. and he like moved his hand away, and then dropped her off the boat. Yeah, I mean, I think that's another kind of thing with Miss Minutes. Like she's always his assistant, never a partner, never a peer. Yeah, you know. 
and that kind of like I think well, like it's like her that, like wanting to have a body and being equal to that him. has nothing to do with Victor Timely though. No, not at all. It's, no. Yeah, she's she's she was incorrect in her anger towards him. Yeah, just like Sylvie was incorrect in wanting to kill him for something he hasn't done. Well, no, I'm I'm talking about why he doesn't do partnerships mm-hmm. because that existed that, before, before he minutes. created yeah. her. He said to the one guy that was wanting mm-hmm. to buy his stuff and make a partnership, and yeah. I'll do the production and you do the science. Yeah, and he's like, I don't do partnerships. Mm-hmm. And then whenever she said about, like, this would be a great partnership, he yeah. moved his hand away from Renslayer. Yeah. So I'm wondering, I was just curious why. So it's like a, uh, a pre-existing yeah. trait. Surely. Yeah, exactly. Then, like, in the future when he creates Miss Minutes and he doesn't want her to have a body and become, like, a peer, like a partner with him, and she resents him for it. And sure. then it causes her to have wants and then go behind his back and maybe create the timeline that she wants or change or alter him in the way that benefits her? I don't know. Sure. I don't even care. And, and, and what I'm saying, too, like I don't care about missed minutes. I just am Not curious so on like yeah. his anti-partnership kind of stance. Like what caused him and, to be that way in the beginning? I like the idea of it being some kind of is. like bleed through of the multiversal war and maybe Kang variants like try to stay away from teaming up with each other. Like it's maybe, just a, maybe it's the a only personal constant. constant. Yeah. 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 Like all of them are solo kind of people. They don't do that. Yeah. Like maybe all, that's why they like all, all start the wars. Tricksters, mm-hmm. sure. but they're, they also have the other variants that make them different, right? Yeah. That kind of thing. Or maybe he only trusts himself. Fully, or something like that. But no, what you guys are saying too, and um, Eric too, like they're all looking at him as like he is the person who has done X and Y, yeah. and it's like, well, either A, yep. he's never that person, yeah, or B, he hasn't been that person yes. yet, right? Yeah, like, he's been building into this and doesn't even know any of the stuff you're talking about. Yet, yep, right. So Aaron, I have to then bring out this baby. No, kill him. Are you killing baby Hitler? Yes. Like, guys, I'm sorry, but this conversation that just started with that line, it goes places. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Yes. Look at it. Just go, go, go. Go, go. Oh, my ass got really dark. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why are you supporting of his head if you were going to kill it anyway? I wasn't going to kill it. <laughs> it's an innocent baby. There it You offered it to a murderer. Get my knife so I no. can kill Here. that baby. Okay. What do you... Here's the You're thing. You're picking up a baby seal uh-huh. to a known seal clubber yeah. and, and holding it out to him. I was giving Aaron a choice to kill him or not. Yeah. But see, to be you were giving him a look. chance to kill him, yeah, not a that's, choice. That's true. But well, he said he was going to, and you said, "Okay, I here." I thought this might change his mind. He no, no, no. contradictory see, to it. No, no, I don't like Sylvie. Yeah, like I, I get what she's doing, uh-huh. and I'm not necessarily against what she's doing. Yeah. However, the way like Renslayer or especially Miss Minutes mm-hmm. are talking to him yeah. is as if he's done this. Yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. talk to the baby as if he has. Well, you I'm don't gonna have tell to, him he hasn't. I'm gonna tell him what he's gonna do. And then kill him. But he doesn't do it because you kill him. Exactly. So you now, killed an innocent person. No, I you just did. saved the timeline. That's not how it works. You what if what you're if right because it's fake time stuff? <laughs> what if it makes it worse? What if there's somebody that someone worse than that Hitler? hates everybody and just, convinces everyone to hate everybody else? Well, then I'll just go back in time and kill that baby. <laughs> He's gonna be killing people till. Now, forever. Hey, there'll they, be a giant circle of him killing now, innocent people. To be given. And thinking he's saving. This is what crazy people do. <laughs> to be given. Here, yeah. I could also. I don't have to go back to baby Hitler. Yeah. I can just go to when he's like standing up, being like, I'm running for whatever he ran for, and just be. And well, then. I, my point of contention has always been like before he's done something to deserve it. Well, I mean, so I regardless know. if he's a baby or if he's seven or if he's, I don't know, maybe Hitler was perfect until he was 25. I, I guarantee I can find some time when yeah. he's like, kill. Oh, yeah. Geez. You know, and like I'm like, oh, there it is. He hasn't done it yet, but he wrote it, and I gotcha. know it's in his mind. So once, he, so there. How about I give you, you that? Thought police. No, I, 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 read, it, I read his diary. Because <laughs> he was thinking about it. He's gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saving lives. Uh, I'm not saying that my way is my answer is the right answer. I'm saying there might not be a right answer when it comes to that. All I'm, I'm saying, saying is, I'm saying you, can, is, and you're you can you okay. can you can talk about a terrorist attack, <laughs> yeah. and get charged for it. Uh, well, yeah, sure. I mean, it's yeah, I understand. Same kind of thing. Yeah, but you, can can I, what Eric the, wants to say is, can you charge someone who hasn't talked about it yet? 
Is that your standpoint? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, not, you, yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> you can't. You can't. <laughs> I was about to be real confused. I was like, have, have you, what are you, we talking about? Have you, have you ever seen Minority Report? No. I know of it. Okay. It's Minority Report. That's top. Yes. That's the top yeah. police thing you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. So it's it's controlling seeing future crimes and stuff. So much. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. that sounds interesting. You might watch a movie then. You might change your mind. About Hitler? No. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. You know I what? don't think anything is going to change. I'm 180 percent change. I don't. 180 <laughs> percent. I don't think I'm changing. You just like switch around. On him. Okay. I, you did a 180 end of 100 percent. Yeah. I might not go and like take out like baby like I don't know Ted Bundy. Yeah. But I'm gonna kill baby Hitler. Gotcha. <laughs> you know like yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying like I, I just he did a lot of stuff and caused a whole bunch of things mm-hmm. like he. he well yeah he at ate, that point he you're ate just Dahmer ate yeah. people or whatever right yeah. did Bundy eat people too or he just killed people? Um, I think Dahmer ate. Bundy Dahmer definitely killed. ate people. Yeah. Bundy like those, I think he was like, like serial killers. experimenting like he like chewed on people, but I don't think he like actually ate people like. Gotcha. I forget, but I just like you know like I'm not going like I'm gonna kill every serial killer. I mean, he killer also as a baby before they do that. He but, also had sex with dead people too. I'll kill so him. like there's a very fine line between mastication and I the think, other one. You know a lot about this. I think there's I don't know. I'd much rather this is gonna be a weird statement, but yeah, I'd okay. much rather I want to get this on double. Be eaten? No, I'd much okay. rather someone is just like banging dead people than making more dead people. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, though? I feel like one is worse. Oh, shit. I got my own face. <laughs> <laughs> it's just if you're making the dead people uh-huh. and then also doing that. Yeah. Yeah, doing both is definitely That's worse. It's really bad, right? It's worse than I feel like each. I feel like making the dead people is worse than, like, I'm going to bang that dead person. Right? Like the guy in the morgue who's like... I'm so curious to what Ultra put as the chapter title for this segment. <laughs> I want to apologize before it happens. I, I love this this conversation that Aaron yeah. has started because he said at the beginning, I would much rather, and then has gone to here. <laughs> I'm going to... Ultra just put this one line before we started this. Like, guys, I'm sorry, but this conversation that just started with that line, it goes places. <laughs> oh man okay i get uh, what you mean yeah you know what i mean right like it's like there's a difference between me killing calvin to eat him mm-hmm. or me like getting access to like a morgue of people that just die already natural causes and yeah. eating those people sure. right like i'm not saying like one is like, not bad murder is wrong but there are situations in which killing somebody is the moral thing to do we, like Baby Hitler. So, I suppose so, yeah. yeah. Like Baby Hitler, yeah. That's no, <laughs> not the moral thing. But, <laughs> but like, if Baby Hitler How can you have like, such a double standard, Like Eric? if Baby Hitler had a knife and was going to kill another baby, I can be like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe kill the baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know how to move on. Because it's outright murder. Yeah, I got to move on. I have to. <laughs> It Who's, is. Okay, we got a poll now. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, hmm. Now, they did say something interesting. He knew the end was near for him. So he did he always know this was going to happen? Oh, that's kind of how he talked about it, right? Because yeah. he's like, this happens, this is going to happen. Like, he kind of yeah. had an idea of things. So he always yeah. was weird. Well, you know, specifically, it was the two Lokis that were going to do it. Maybe he, well, just he did needs... say he was waiting for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think he... It also may have been a thing that at a point you're gonna realize it, right? Yeah. Like or at a maybe, point, maybe at this point, since Renslayer and Miss Minutes mm-hmm. know about how all this shit happens, mm-hmm. they go back and tell him at a point where he can put his plans in place and allow it to happen. Yeah. Then ensuring it happens again. Mm-hmm. And at yeah. some point, he probably realizes that these Lokis are coming for him, right? It's not that he just always knew it, but at some point he's gonna know it, right? Yeah. I mean, he's at the end of time, so he time. theoretically knows everything that has ever happened. But then time passes there too. Yeah. It's like so going. That, to, it's, like going is, to, it's like going to the North Pole and being like, "Let's go more north." Like, we can't. We're well, no. at the North Pole. Well, maybe, but maybe it's like maybe it's a magnetic it, North Pole. Is it a separate timeline in the end of time? No. Mm-hmm. Like maybe the best way to look at it is that, like, in a way, we are currently at the end of time. 
right? And now we're at the end of time again. And we're always at the end of time because time keeps passing. And yeah. There's no time past where we're at. Yes. It's the end of the world as we know but it. But for me to understand <laughs> what you're even saying, time has to pass for the sentence to form a structure for me to get the idea. But in order for that right? to happen, we're never yeah. not at the end of time. The end of time is... Right? Now, 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 I suppose if you, you're kind of. He's using our understanding of what time is and what it can't be for us. He's kind of defining it into the end of time. Well, sure. Well, because, like, so time was going, right? At some point. Then at some point, they made the TVA. He did all this stuff to help stop all these branches and everything, right? Well, yeah. He's doing all that. He's controlling to keep one sacred timeline. That sacred timeline is going to have an endpoint. Now that endpoint is going to keep going, but that's the end. But it still moves in a way. It's like Does that makes sense. It's like the idea of like bootstrap paradoxes. There had to have been a first time, mm-hmm. right? Well, yeah. I mean, it's the it's the argument of the prime mover. Like, there's only there's only there's. Uh, like there must be a beginning of time, right? And what caused the beginning of time? It's like, well, what happened before the beginning of time? But that might be a nonsensical question because there might not be a big before, which is an element of time, before time existed. So it might not even exist. Yeah. And I hurt myself when I think. Yeah. So, yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. That's it. How do you get a beginning of time? Because how? What was before the beginning of time? Before yeah. light, was there dark? So at the end of time, I, I, yeah, but that's probably me, it. Might be a nonsensical question though. Before the beginning of time, I'm it's just, like saying go more north than the North Pole. Magnetic North Pole. Well, you know what I mean, though. Yeah. I know. <laughs> 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 um, no, I just think that that's where capitalism gonna find me. Yeah, I think the best way to look at it is just like the timeline is, as far as we know, the timeline's always going. Mm-hmm. This guy is just the farthest sure. point that we know of of time. So that's the end of time, but it doesn't literally end. It's just it's still kind of, just kind of going. He's yeah. at the very very end. Of it. He's at the end of it. They killed him, and time still passed there, until Renslayer and Miss Minutes were pushed through that portal, and he's sitting there dead in that chair, rotting. So he's just before the end of time. No, he is the end of time. He is the furthest point but time, that time still goes. has has but then it's not reached, ended. huh? Then it's not ended. Well, it's not. Maybe it's not the end of the idea of an end, but the end of It's the not end. the destruction and the heat death of the universe. It's mm-hmm. just as far as time has gone. Mm-hmm. Right? Like the end of the timeline. But the timeline is being extended. Like, it's I'm stretching. I'm lowering... So it's still going. I'm lowering an anchor into the ocean. Mm-hmm. An, an, an endless deep ocean. Mm-hmm. Eventually there might be an end, and I have an endless rope. Yeah. That anchor... Is the furthest that that rope has gone down in the ocean? Yeah. So it's always at the. So are you of saying you're so at the bottom the of the anchor, ocean, or the are you not? Because you're still going. You haven't found the bottom. But there is no. But bottom. it's the bottom. How of do the, you know? The you anchor, haven't found it yet. Eric, <laughs> shut up for a second. No, that makes sense. <laughs> the anchor is the bottom of the rope. Yeah. The rope is time. Yeah. The ocean is the universe. Well, but space and time are interlocked, though. Like, there is no space without time. Yeah, because time is just space expanding. Yeah, the space is the water. The time so you can't is the have, you, but you can't have space where there's no time. So the space in which that he's acting, that apparently is at the end of time, shouldn't be able to progress. I think you're taking. I'm not taking it as a literal end of time. I'm taking yeah. it as the farthest that we ever know of a timeline existing. So not the end of time, but it's the end of time. It's what they call it. What else would you it's, call it? Like, you could use that it's argument not, and say yesterday the, was the end of time, but we have today, so what's today? It's not no, the today end of is time. the end of time. Yeah. It's not the end of time as in the cessation of time. Yeah. It is the furthest point of time. So if I say, like, I live at the beginning of time, but there was a bunch of stuff that happened before me. Well, you, you don't. I don't? You don't live at the beginning of time. Well, no, I know, but for the thought experiment, if okay. I say I'm from the... Beginning of time, and someone goes, "What happened before you?" I'm like, oh, "Shut up!" <laughs> you know, I don't know, because it's not the end of time if it's still going. That's that's what we're saying. Yeah, it's not. It's not the literal it's, end of time. It's yeah. not time dark, doesn't end at a certain point. Space frozenness. It's just the furthest point that it has gone. I can't go yeah. past that. So, like, it's an ever moving wall that I can move up to, but never past. So the he who remains would be just as incorrect saying that he's at the end of time as us today saying we're at the end of time. Yes. Okay. 
So, but we don't have time travel. So we don't wrong. But we don't have time travel, so yeah. we can't travel between the timeline. So we can't yeah. go further, and we can't go past. Yeah. Even though there's a theoretical future that mm-hmm. we could travel to if there were time travel. Mm-hmm. In his time frame where he's at, it is the end of time because there is no timeline they can travel through further than where he's at presently. Hmm. Yeah. That's how I'm going to interpret it until they give us any other reasons. I think you don't have to I, like it. No, I'm not saying I don't like it. I think at the, <laughs> the fundamental level it breaks down, but it's fiction, so who cares? <laughs> huh. I don't know. I just view it like the same thing as us. Since we don't have time travel, yeah. we are currently at the end of time. While there is a theoretical future, we don't have that. So, like, but we, we can make predictions it's, about it's what's going to happen in the future. Theoretically, he couldn't because he's at the end, right? The, it, theoretically, he did. It's like he was going to be killed. We're like leaning against a wall yeah. that's constantly moving. Mm-hmm. There is a door in that wall that is locked. Yeah. Time travel is the key. Yeah. We don't have the key, so we're just sure. pushing on this wall. But the so, wall keeps going, and the room yeah. gets bigger. Yeah. So we could open it. And go to the next wall that yeah. doesn't have a door in it. <laughs> I, I, I get what you mean. I just feel like in order to make that make sense, we have to like slightly change what end means and slightly change what time means. You I don't. don't. You don't? You don't. But it keep continues, so it doesn't end. Like that's those are two But it's it's a moving end. I, right? I don't think that's how ends work. <laughs> ends end. It does if it's moving. How does an, an end move? Man, I can't through wait for this. what space and I can't time. wait for this train to get through here yeah. so I can go across the road. Sure, where does that train exist in? In space time, right? If you're saying it's the end of space time, there's nowhere for the train to move. So that it must be the end. But if you say it keeps going, then that's not the end. So we can't use that definition of end. They just said it's, it's because <laughs> there's no end on that side, but there's an end here. Yeah, but you, we're pointing we're looking at that one. The end. <laughs> That it's not an end. It Imagine an, an end that doesn't end. You know, an infinity, <laughs> Eric. Isn't that the, <laughs> an the infinity. law of non-contradicted, non-contradicted in identity? Like, one must equal one. Zero must equal zero. Zero can't equal one. You know what, Eric? Yeah. I've seen movies that say the end, and then yeah. they make another one. I know, man. <laughs> yeah. I know. Gee. <laughs> how, do we, how do we, how do we this has reconcile that in our brains? <laughs> <laughs> that means it wasn't an end. <laughs> But it was then! Well, I think It was the I, end then! Uh, and then there's once, more. Once uh. again, I'm gonna say yeah. I am not taking it as mm-hmm. a literal end of time. definition of this is the end of time. Yeah. I'm taking it as the I don't like they call him he who remains. Yeah. I don't think his name was really that. Sure. Right? I think his name was something else. Yeah. But they didn't know what else to call him. So They're, I think yeah. they call that place the end of time because mm-hmm. it is the farthest point existing yeah. on this timeline that they know, mm-hmm. and they can't get past that. Okay. So I think it's a title, not sure. a definition. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's like uh, so. It's like meet me at the world's highest peak, and I go to Everest or K two or whatever it is. But then we find out, you know, but then. A million years pass by and another mountain gets higher, and now that's the world's highest peak, right? So the end of time is just here for now until we've discovered that actually it's not, and there's another end of time. We're arguing over the definition of the noun end mm-hmm. and the verb end. Yes. Well, and the noun end yeah. is the extent of mm-hmm. something, mm-hmm. particularly time. Yeah. Right? Sure. So, like, let me read these two. <laughs> yeah. Final part of something, especially a period of time, an activity, mm-hmm. or a story. Mm-hmm. The end of the year. Yeah. But then we have another year. Yes, sure, right? but time the, is... The furthest or ten... most extreme point or part of something. Mm-hmm. And then come or bring to a final point, a point or finish. Yes. And you're, so you're, saying you're that's... arguing that the end is the finish of time, mm-hmm. where we're saying it is the final point of time. Which... So semantically, you could final argue and finish are not the same. No, the finish of time is the heat death of the universe, right? Yeah. Where everything, so there, including time, there ceases there to exist. Right? Should exist. There shouldn't be space. Mm-hmm. There shouldn't be time. Yeah. basically, just a black yeah. void of nothingness, right? Yeah, sure. Essentially, we're yeah. saying that it is the furthest point mm-hmm. of time. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. Where time is is still a thing. Yeah, but it hasn't ripped itself apart yet. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I I feel like I understand what you mean. Like, tomorrow could be the heat death of the universe and everything's gone. 
Yeah, but because we don't know that, this is the end of time. But because we don't have time travel, we can't... It, it's an unknowable thing. It's an unknowable thing because we don't have time travel. And while they do have time travel, there's an area that they can time travel to, I think, right? There is, I assume, as you said, the beginning of time, whatever that is, right? And then there is the end of their timeline, which would be the end of time, which by all definitions of what they know of, that's the end of time. Mm -hmm. We can't go any further than that, so I guess mm -hmm. it just ends here. Yeah, but, but while, it continues to go. But while it, while time is passing there, yeah. like technically there is still like they they went to after Loki mm -hmm. and them. Yeah, died. You're saying it's him. it's an event that's happening further on the timeline, and no travel has happened after now, that, and thus it is the 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 peak of our vision into time. Sure. Now that's the, the end of time. The most curious thing would be. Could Minutes and Renslayer travel to the point at the end of time to where the Lokis were trying to kill He Who Remains? Or is the end of time a place that there is no other time? There is no timeline in the end of time. It's just there is a location. Things can happen there. But there's no other, there's no like timeline for it. You know what I mean? That doesn't sure. make sense to me. Uh, because for, for something sure. to happen I get and you. then... Something else happens, then applies times pass. But given that we haven't well, seen whether or not they can do that, mm -hmm. well, I, I, I mean, you, you could have you could have a space, a body you could have a space right? that is outside of time, mm -hmm. but things still happen in it because the TVA is like that. See, and, I I, like, I understand our, what you mean in terms of like, well, imagine fictionally this is what it is. I'm trying to what I, all I was trying to say is like it's hard for me to imagine this because. The, the terms themselves break down. Sure. sure. We yeah. don't have we don't have the, the scientific understanding of physics to explain it in a way that makes sense because mm -hmm. physics cannot reconcile time travel. Like it, it's not possible uh, as we know it, right? There's so we just theories. have to suspend our disbelief. And, yeah. There's theories, but that's not a that's not, but, but while right. you're while you're saying there's a decaying body, mm -hmm. which implies that there's time passing. Time is the thing that I was saying is that we have yet to see if Minutes and Renslayer or whoever mm -hmm. can go to the end of time at a point that has already happened, right? Like, in theory, they sh in, in what I'm saying, mm -hmm. that it's still kind of going. In sure. theory, they should be able to go to the point at the end of time then yeah. where the Lokis were going to kill He Who Remains. Mm -hmm. Given that they haven't done that, I can assume that it's possible maybe, yeah. but perhaps it's not possible at all. Yeah. And there is literally just, this is the end of time. It doesn't actually move. Mm -hmm. Everything has ended, but people within it can move, which is where you're at, where it's like, well, I don't understand how that works, yeah. which it's I get It's just a you. term thing. But we haven't gotten much information on the yeah. end of time and how it operates. Sure. We also don't know exactly how the TVA operates, mm -hmm. because Loki was falling yeah. back through time in the TVA. And it could be a lie by he who remains. Sure. Yeah. I was just trying to like, understand it in my own brain. Like, I understand, like, look, you watch Star Wars and a bomb explodes in space. You shouldn't be able to hear it, but we do. It's fun, you know? We go here to this timeline. But line it's a sonic thing. bomb. We say, yeah, I know. We say, <laughs> we say end of time, and in my head I have something different than what's being presented. Sure. So it's fine. We said AI missed minutes, and you were like, oh, she just travels around. Yeah. And I'm like, but why? It's an AI. Like, if she was coming from something, that makes sense. That well, makes sense that AI just, just means around. she's an intelligence. We yeah, know how artificial which comes intelligence. Which it has to be. It has to come from something. It has to be not, some runtime or, or something. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, like maybe she's even if there's like a, TVA, a little bee flying around yeah. that is yeah. projecting her or whatever. But we don't know that something. that's 100 percent what it is. Sure. We're just kind of making like, here's why it is. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the end of time. It's yeah. like, well, what is the end of time? It's like, well, yeah. it could be this. Maybe it could be this. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's neither of those. Sure. <laughs> maybe it's all a bunch of shit that's fake. <laughs> you know? I, like, I don't know. But I'm gonna kill baby Hitler. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, poll for this week, Victor Timely. Do you think that this Victor is meant to become the he who remains that we've already met that Sylvie killed? Or is he going to become something new and different for a he who remains that we have yet to meet? Uh, we want to know what your thoughts are. Vote over at blindweb.com. We'll discuss whatever your comments are there next week. Time.